The Leland Old Station near Stanton, North Dakota meets all state and federal environmental standards, but Basin Electric is preparing for the future. Here's how. Basin Electric's very first coal-based power plant has looked like this since the 1970s. But the Leland Old Station near Stanton, North Dakota, is getting ready for a big change. This is an artist's concept shown to the board of directors in June. The plant will soon sport a wet limestone scrubber. The scrubber removes sulfur dioxide from the plant's emissions. It's shown here as the bright yellow cylinder in the middle. It comes with a 600-foot tall, 60-foot wide chimney. Since Unit 2 construction, this is probably the single biggest project that they've seen. Uh, obviously, there's been other plants built in the area uh, since then, but for Leland Olds, it's, it's a major project. But before you see that big chimney, you'll see a lot of this. These workers are chopping up the concrete driveway so they can put in the foundation for the scrubber and chimney. That will take more than a year, into fall 2008. All the foundations have to support an extreme... Uh, amount of weight and the chimney being that high obviously has to uh, have a pretty good foundation. Why put more than 400 million dollars into our oldest power plant? Because this work will probably add 20 to 30 years onto Leland Old Station's life. If we didn't do this, we'd need to eventually stop operating LOS. The Environmental Protection Agency's regional haze rule demands more emission control by the end of the year 2013. Our plan will make LOS ready three years before that. The project itself will employ at peak um, three to four hundred people and that's going to provide jobs for a lot of individuals in the area. The uh, process of uh, scrubbing the flue gas will involve also permanent employees for the plant to operate it and maintain it. Some things are being moved around at the plant site to make room for everything that comes with a wet limestone scrubber. The coal yard has been moved and tanks were brought in to temporarily store fuel oil. That's because the permanent tanks need to be moved from the south to the north of the plant. This is where the building for limestone storage and preparation will sit. And over there on the other side of that coal pile, that's where the byproduct gypsum will be stored until it's loaded out. As time goes by, we'll show you that progress too. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.